everyone, this is Beth from Art by Bidel, and I am working again in my Sunflower Dragonfly Junk Journal. The page that I have that I'm working on today is this little piece of book paper, and I have folded it so that one side is bigger than the other. And what we are going to do is create this page that has a flip up and a flip out, and we'll make something out of what normally would be a scrap that might go in the trash or we would use it for collage or whatever. Let's start with this side of our page right here, which is the bigger side. And on that, I have some of my uh, coffee stain copy paper that's available on my Etsy shop that I'm using for this project. And I would like to create a piece that would be big enough for this so that we would have end up with um, maybe a snippet down the side and yet with some journaling space here. So we need to tear off the white edges and I'm just using a ruler for that. Two white edges here to get rid of. And then, of course, you know, I like to ink up around my edges also. So I think that, let's see, I want it a little bit taller, but maybe not as tall as what this is. So I'm going to tear some off the bottom there. Now, my page size here is, um, let's see, it is seven and a half. By approximately five, this edge goes up more, but you know what? I could take that off in there. Seven and a half by five. I folded it so that my front edge that I'm working on now is five by four and three quarters or five, something like that. And the piece that I'm going to put over top of that is going to be four and a quarter by five and almost a half. So I want to begin as I always begin by inking up the edges and this vintage photo looks so pretty on this coffee stained paper here. It just matches to me. It, it, it's just what it needs. So I want to do both sides because some of this back side will probably end up showing when all is said and done. So I hope you are enjoying this series of videos with this journal and I also let's let's ink up this page too I also hope that if you're not creating something with all of them that you at least find a couple of them that intrigues you and that might get your creative juices flowing and that you create a page in your journal whatever kind of journal it might be this doesn't have to be just junk a journal it could be uh, a writing journal. It could be something you can take away from this could be for an art journal. Uh, maybe you have a bullet journal and you want to add something creative in that. You can add these things to any journal. It doesn't have to be just junk journal. So there we go. I have that for my front and I'm going to glue that down. Now generally I like to go and I like to stitch everything. But there is a puppy in the house, and that puppy uh, is in the room where the sewing machine is currently, in time out. <laughs> She's been a little bit naughty this morning and hasn't been listening, and so she is in time out. And if I go in to use the sewing machine, it's going to disturb her, and I want her to have a little bit of quiet time. I want me to have a little bit of quiet time, and so... I can go back and I can always add some stitching to this later. So there we have that part. Now I want to add down this side a little bit of a snippet. And I have for that some different items. On, on this one, you can see the snippet that I created here out of different papers. And let me see what I can come up with for what we have for here can use a piece of this would be pretty I have some of this would be pretty would be real pretty those two together would be really really nice so let's tear this to about the right size 
And I don't want it that wide, so we're going to tear it down to there. And then the same with this. I don't want it that tall or that tall. Or still not that tall. <laughs> there, that's more the size that I want. I also have this quote, this poem, that I thought maybe would go nice on there. So let's ink up this and the edge of this that I tore. Sometimes your projects don't have to be like a really involved, difficult project. Sometimes they can be just a snippet with some layering and then it, it's done, right? And then you can go on with journaling or whatever that you're going to be doing in whatever journal you're using. So I think I also want to add a piece of this. And this is some Mariyama paper, and I want to put that behind my quote like that. And then I think this will leave some space for journaling here. And it looks real cute in our journal. So let's get this all glued down. And then this side of the page will be done. Now we have four sides that we're working on today, but they're all easy sides, so they're gonna go quite quickly. And when you have an embossed piece of paper, like what I have here, um, that was left over for one of our other projects, and they're all listed in the playlist, in the playlisted listed below. So if you haven't seen any embossing, check out the first or the second video and you'll see some embossing there. And then I'm just gonna put some random glue here for the Mario Yama paper to sit on, and this is going to hold it down like that. So there we go, guys, that creates this first side. Let's open it up and see what we have going on the inside. So on the inside, we have our fold and let's add something to that fold. And what I thought I would add would be this piece of my digital that I have after we get it inked up, right? And we'll ink up both sides. And then on the back of this side, I'm going to take my line stamp and I'm gonna add some journaling lines on that. So we'll get this done here. And then we'll decide where we want to place it. And I think what I want to do is bring it just in from the fold of our page, leaving like maybe an eighth of an inch so that when we sew this into our signature, our little card here won't be getting in the way. So I'll take my page and I'm gonna add some glue right down there like that. And then I'll fold that over. Let's see, let's take our page to it. There we go. And then on the back side of this, I have a receipt, an old receipt, one that hasn't been used. And I'm going to ink that up. Nothing that people use anymore are these paper receipts, right? There we go. If I had my glue stick out here, I could just put glue stick on here. But since I don't, I'm just going to add a little bit of the wet glue. Put this along one side, like this. And then I have one of my sunflowers from my digital kit that I want to add to this. And that'll go down there just like that. Let's put some glue on all of the edges of that. These sunflowers has a lot of pointy edges that you want to get glued down as best as you can. There we go. And now we'll work on the inside. This side had a little flip out. The little flip out 
that I used was something that a friend sent me in some Happy Mail. Linda sent me this, and I thought it was really cute. So I used it in this one, and I thought I was going to create one of my own. Well, that was a really easy thing to do. So all I did was I followed this one, and I measured it, and it measures, let's see, it measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. You can make it be whatever size that the page that you're working on. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So I did a four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then I folded it at two and a half inches over so that I had it like that. And then I rounded all my corners. So for the inside pieces here, I have a piece of my digital. I'll ink up the edge of that. Now Linda used some white paper on hers and that looks very nice. I'm gonna add some digital here. Since I think I want this side mostly for journaling, I'll put my big piece over here. And then for the side, I just have a piece of coffee paper and I think I'll just put that down there like that and get it inked up on this edge. And then we can have this, or I cannot use this here, and I could just use some copy paper. Maybe that's what I'll do, because I really want to have some journaling space in this. Because as it stands right now, this page doesn't offer a whole lot of journaling space. put that one here and then I'll put this littler one on the other side and then both sides now can be used for journaling on just like that okay and then on the outside that's where I'll use my um, my digital piece and I'll put that on here Just like that. Now I could leave this as it is, as far as it can make its own statement with just the digital there, or I could add more to it. I think for now, I'm just gonna glue it on here and leave it because I'm undecided as to what I wanna put on there. So I'll glue the whole back side, getting close to the edges. And I'll put that down about in the middle of this piece of paper, book paper here, but about half an inch from the edge where it folds. And that can be a little flip out there. Thank you, Linda, for that idea. Now on the inside of this one, what I did on the other one, on the prototype, was I had taken some of my um, sunflower tissue paper see here how much do I want to add I don't need very much of it let's just tear some of this off here and I can just add that right there or right here I think I'll go this direction all right and I'll use my mat medium to glue that down with it all out and then put some more glue right over top of it. I use the matte medium. You can use Mod Podge. Um, you can use some PVA. Um, any type of glue, actually even a glue stick will work for putting it down. Then you probably should use some wet glue for putting it on top. Let's put a little more glue up there. Smooth it out the best I can. I always get some wrinkles. It just never fails. So there we have that part. 
And I'm going to take and I'm going to dry this because I want to continue working. All right, and then I want to add a flip up instead of a flip out. And I'm going to do that with this piece of leftover coffee stain copy paper digital. I think we'll make a big enough one. So I'm just cutting off the white edges. And then I'm going to ink up this this side here. I don't have to do the back side because we won't see it. Okay, first off, I'm going to see the piece that I want to put on top of this. It's going to be a piece of ledger paper. So what I have done is I've taken some ledger paper and I added some gesso to it. And I had done this and, and I had done up a whole batch of it and I decided to use a piece here. And then I just added some watercolors. I did, it's pearlescent watercolors. And I did the green, the blue, and the copper. And I want that on the front of here, but I don't want much of the white showing. So I'm going to have to clip off. Let's see if I have a, a square piece to use. And this one might be too big, but that wouldn't be bad to see. Okay, so let's ink up the edge of this one. And I'm, so I'm gonna fold this right about here. What I was doing was I wanted this piece down here to be bigger than what half of this was. So if I fold it closer up to the top here, I have this bigger piece that will show on the inside. And since the ledger paper is double-sided, then it won't be just a plain piece of paper. Now it's not colored, but it is ledger paper and it'll be, it'll be cool just because it's ledger paper, right? We all like ledger paper, I do believe. So I'll add some glue to this flap here. And then I'll put my piece of ledger paper on it so that it reaches up to the top like that. And then I'll take the back side of this piece because now we have a flip up. It looks like that. And we'll take the back side and we'll add glue to that so that we can glue our element down on our page. And I'm gonna put it pretty much on center, maybe a little bit higher than center. Now, I have a surprise for you. I have finally decided on what I'm going to use for dragonflies. I was thinking of sketching my own and I'm like, oh, I'm not so sure about that. I'm getting everything symmetrical and, and the, the wings exactly the same on either side, one or the other. I thought, let me just check and see what's out there for digitals. Well, I found these digitals. They're from Rose Pixel Studio. They are called Intricate Dragonfly Bundle. Oh my gosh, guys, these are absolutely gorgeous. Now I have taken these images. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm not sure, can you see the glimmer? Okay, there maybe you can. What I have done there, I think you can see it there, is I have taken my watercolor, my um, shimmery watercolor, and I've gone over top of the dragonfly wings so they, so they shimmer like dragonfly wings should shimmer, right? And then I splattered white and black paint on them. But just look at all of these images, how pretty they are. There's 20, 20 images. Look at the glimmer. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So you can use, leave them in the circles, which I have done currently, left them in the circles. Or you can cut them out and just have the dragonflies. Some of them were cut out, and I'll show you those next too. But if you want some really cool digitals for dragonflies, again, it's Rose Pixel Studio. She is on Etsy, and these are beautiful images. And I thought they would go real nice with our sunflowers. Here are some that have either cut out or they came that way. This one came that way. I like that one a lot, and that might be my favorite one. This one, I accidentally cut out the legs. <laughs> Poor thing. Here we go. So there's the uh, dragonflies that you will be seeing throughout this journal. 
And for this top here, I want to add one, and um, that's the one I want to add. I want to add that circle on here. So let us ink up around the edge of that. Again, I take took the image and I printed it out on photo cardstock, matte photo cardstock. Then I took my Glimmer watercolors and painted the wings and the body and splattered it with black and white paint. And that's that's our image. So let's get that glued down. So there's our first dragonfly that we're putting in our sunflower dragonfly journal. I'm going to tip that to the right a little rather than dead on like that. I'm going to tip it to the right. How cute is that dragonfly? So I think over here, I was afraid it wouldn't be a real quick thing. Anyhow, somewhere I have a dragonfly brad. And when I find that, I'm going to put that on here. So I'll show you that um, in one of the next videos. Hopefully I'll remember to show you. But there's our page, our very simple page for this little piece of paper that we had. And we took it and we added to it and we created this nice page that has a quote on here with journaling space. We have a flip up with journaling space. We have a flip out with journaling space here. And then we have this little decorative thing on um, the back side of it. So I hope you enjoyed this project also, and we shall see you again real soon with another project in our Sunflower Dragonfly journal. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.